First game at Neyland Stadium of the season tomorrow. Jeremy Pruitt runs through the tee for the first time his first game at Neyland as Vols head coach. And you know, since 1926, when General Neyland took over the program, Vols coaches are 10 and 3 in home debuts. The only losses, Bowden Wyatt and Harvey Robinson lost to Mississippi State in the 50s. Johnny Majors lost to Cal in 1977. The last four coaches won their Neyland Stadium debuts, going back to Coach Fulmer. And General Neyland's first game on Shields Watkins Field was a 13 to nothing win over Carson Newman. Philip Fulmer was the interim coach for the home opener in 1992. That was a 38 to three win over Southwestern Louisiana. Then the next year, the Vols beat Louisiana Tech in Fulmer's first game at Neyland as the full time head coach. On his staff for both of those games and many more, was Randy Sanders. He spent 17 years as a coach at UT. He played quarterback for the Vols, grew up in Morristown. Now he returns to Neyland as the head coach at ETSU. He's been on the opposing sideline before, but it's still a little weird. It's going to be different. There's no question. I've been back, I think, four times when I was at the University of Kentucky. Uh, each time was strange. You know, it got a little progressively uh, more familiar. I, I guess each year I'm going back afterwards, but uh, it's, it's going to be different. It, it, it's my alma mater. It's always going to be a special place. Uh, it was home to me for an awfully long time, but I'm excited to be going in there as head coach of ETSU and, and, and playing the game. It, it should be a great experience for our guys. The Bucks beat Mars Hill 28 to seven last week to give Sanders his first win in his career as a head coach. And you know, there are nearly 50 players and coaches on the ETSU roster that are from East Tennessee. Great opportunity for those guys to get a chance to play in Neyland in their own backyard. Beth. Boy, you know, they're looking forward to that, Patrick. What an opportunity, as you said, for these young players. And I'm excited to see Randy Sanders back inside Neyland. All right, thank you, Patrick. If you're coming down to the game, we want to make sure that you are game day ready. Let's run through some of the logistics. Of course, kickoff is at 4 o'clock. Vol Walk steps off at 145, and the Vol Village opens at 1230. Clear bag policy. Don't forget about it because there are certain dimension requirements on those. Let's talk about what you can bring in. Cameras, binoculars, rain gear, they're accepted. However, you need to leave the food, the drink, the weapons at home. And if you don't have a spot to park on campus, no worries. Parking is available across downtown Knoxville and at the UT Visitor Center. Plenty of parking garages that will cost you anywhere between $10, $15. We do have uh, specifics on garage locations as well as other game day information on our website, WBIR.com. You'll also find player update, even injury reports there on our website. But I'm going to enjoy this view for a little bit longer. We'll see you back around 530 with another update from the press box overlooking Shields Watkins Field inside Neyland Stadium. Robin, Brandon, what do you think? <laughs> Look at that view. You get the good job today yeah. in the AC. Impressive. Russell was sweating earlier. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, Beth, thanks a lot.